What's up guys, welcome to my channel. Tonight we're checking out Idol again, uh, after um, we reacted to Oh My God. I was really, really uh, impressed by them. Uh, it was a totally different sound from Tomboy, and that was the only song that we had heard from them. So, what I really uh, enjoyed about that song is it had a more serious uh, tone to it. So I'm interested to see if their other tracks are like that. Obviously, I'm sure they do a lot of different things as um, as displayed by Tomboy, but uh, it's nice to hear a more, not only mature sound, but a, a more serious type of tone. Uh, it's just it's just refreshing. It's something I haven't heard in a while. Other than like uh, Mama Moo, for instance, right? Uh, but even when uh, Mama Moo's playful, they still sound mature, right? But this is just, like I said, that serious undertone, which is really cool. So uh, tonight we're checking out a song called Han or Alone. Uh, and uh, let's go. So this is G Idol with Alone. Okay, a whistle. Do you remember, you remember, remember what you said? No, that's nice. Remember, you remember, remember what you said? No, it's a piano back there. <laughs> the xylophone or marimba? Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay, before we take it up another notch. Holy shit. So the, it started out with a very, very nice, uh, warm and cozy type of uh, of instrumental in the first part of the uh, the first section of the verse. There's a piano back there, but it's it's down there with the bass and the kick. So everything is uh, the whole instrumental is tucked right into this nice cozy space, and the girls themselves are providing the the mid range. Right, it's just nice and cozy. There's not a lot of brightness until the second section came in, uh, where all of a sudden we hear uh, it sounds like a xylophone or a marimba. It sounds more wood uh, than metal. Uh, still right just a little bit above uh, where the piano lived right so it brightened up just a tad uh, and then they still have that nice tone there was another sound in the background uh, that I didn't uh, catch on the first listen that was creating a little bit more brightness and then it sounded like we were going into in the next section which we're going to get to um, it sounds like it goes up even more so it's like a step Right, they're taking us up gradually and opening the song up, which is interesting. So uh, let's go back a little bit and uh, let it vibe in. It's a whistle back there. Big 808. It's a pad back there that's brightening it up. That's really nice. There's a... Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, you can hear, at least in this section, what's providing that high end. So, yeah, so it sounded like in the pre-chorus, there's a pads back there that's creating a... Making it sound bigger, but they're also brightening it up a little bit. So it's making it feel colder and airier. So you go from this nice warm tone to a little bit op more open, and then you get to the pre-chorus. Uh, it's even more open, and it sounds like in the ver in the chorus, it still stays at the same level as the as the um, the pre-chorus. They didn't take it up another notch, but they did add more sounds to to make it even brighter. And it's a super high pitched um, whistle back there. And at the end of this, you can hear the resonance of it. So the uh, sounded like it stopped, uh, and then either delay or reverb or whatever. You can hear it kind of just fading out. It's really high. So we got the nice uh, warm tones underneath their vocals in the middle, and then small things to provide brightness. So it just makes the whole thing feel nice and cozy. And that chorus was really really nice. Yes, and. 
we're continuing with that mature sound. And not just a mature sound, but a more serious tone. And I'm here for it. So let's go back a little bit and see what the second verse has. Listen for the resonance. Really high. And back down. And I love the tones that they're singing in. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did they just bring in a little 80s synth just for that transition? Let's listen to this again. It sounds like a little spitty type of synth uh, from the 80s. Little chop saw, probably. Yeah, then it goes away. Okay, just just for the transition, they just add the little spitty synth, little 80 synth. Okay. Nice. Oh. I don't know if this is the same as the first pre-chorus, but it probably is. It's the same whistle, but it's making a siren sound in the back. So it's wow, 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 wow. And it's a little bit lower. It's still the highest thing that we can hear, uh, other than probably the cymbals, right? But it's in the background. It's just kind of whining at us. And then I'm, sh I'm sure it's going to shoot up to those really high notes. So that's what's creating that. And it's also creating tension, uh, which is really cool. So let's go back a little bit. Like a car alarm. And that xylophone is really cool. Oh, that 80 synth is in the background here now. That's really, really cool. And I just noticed something. Okay, we're going to pause here before we get to the bridge. Uh, and it seems to be a driving bridge. Okay, as opposed to a breakdown. Okay, so I just noticed what else they're doing. So not only... Well, the reason why it has the step effect, uh, where it's it's they're building the dynamics, is because they're adding instruments at each turn. But those instruments, I just noticed, are all in the chorus. So the xylophone's still there, the whistle's there, the pad is there, uh, the 80 synth I'm sure is there, but uh, I didn't, I wasn't listening for it because I just uh, realized that the the uh, the xylophone was there. So yeah, each step of the way, they're adding more elements, and then they all appear together in the chorus, which is really cool. Instead of what we normally hear in K-pop, which is every section's different, the drums change, all these things change. This is all the same elements just being added little by little and that they complete the song. So let's hear if they do anything different or add anything different for the for the bridge. But yeah, so far, it's really, really nice. Uh, let's just go back here. It's like a vocal synth back there. Ooh, that's pretty piercing. Yeah, it, it was still all the same elements. For 
some reason, that tree in the beginning looked like a miniature. I couldn't figure out what it was. Uh, or if it was miniature or not. I don't know why they would make do a miniature. I think it was just to do with the camera uh, effect that they had on it. The lens effect. But, yeah, that song is really, really nice. Not only did was it cozy, but they used all the same elements all the way through. Uh, it sounded like there was a vocal uh, synth that appeared in the bridge, and that was probably living underneath the whole thing the whole time. It just made its uh, appearance, or everything else kind of cleared out, uh, and you could hear it better in the pre or I'm sorry, in the bridge. And one thing I noticed as well, another cool thing about this is sometimes drums in K-pop are just, they're the star of the show, right? Like they're, no matter what else is going on, you're going to feel that kick. You're going to hear the pop on that snare. The drums here were nice and cozy and tucked where they should be, right? The instrumental was allowed to to do its thing because the, the, the kick and the snare were just doing just what was needed as opposed to punching through our speakers, right? Which is really, really cool. And the girls' tones amazing i love i love and i wish we heard more from from all of the groups of them uh singing in this type of tone right not always the bright uh, or not always someone who's able to do really low stuff but just this nice warm co cozy tone it's everything and this is playlist i can't wait to check out more you guys let me know what we should check out next if you enjoy this content please like subscribe comment and i'll see you next time peace